Hello Tab Nation, it's Tom, and today we're going to be doing another automation video with a video game known as Power Worlds. Just came out, um, honestly, just a few days ago, um, so I have really enjoyed it. It's crazy how popular this game got. Um, but, you know, this video is basically for automating uh, different things within the game. If you guys have more ideas on something I don't cover, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video if I get enough uh, good stuff that would make a good video. So, yeah, let me know. Hit the thumbs up. If I hit 30 likes, I always do another video follow-up at some point uh, based off that video if I can. And um, I'm also in the description going to link uh, to some of my other previous video game uh, automation videos just because I'm not going to cover everything in here, and you can watch those too, even though they're for like another uh, like game like Minecraft or whatever. A lot of that stuff can still be used in this game with just a few tweaks. So yeah, let's start. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to start here with if when active, put the hash town pound sign, whatever you want to call it, depending on your generation, uh, and then we're going to call it POW. Uh, the reason why is because when you launch the game, the window is just called POW with a capital P. Um, and that's going to make it so that this code only works within the video game. That way, if I tab out to like Chrome or something, the script will stop working so that it's not messing up you know, other stuff by accident. It's only going to be able to trigger within that active window. Now, speaking of active windows, a lot of people, I know one of the first things that's going to come up is people asking, how can I automate and control the game while I'm doing something else, like I'm in Chrome watching YouTube or something, or watching this video maybe? Um, you really can't. Uh, most video games block that kind of stuff, uh, anti-cheat systems. It's just something that's pretty standard when it comes to video games. Uh, it's very rare you're going to find a video game that's going to let you do that. Um, so I tried it out on here and I wasn't able to get it to work. So this is unfortunately just one of those games where it has to be your active window. Um, so yeah, so we're going to start here. Um, this is, uh, we're obviously going to show you uh, examples towards the end of the video here after we talk about the code. So this is my hotkey. Uh, it's just the key G on my keyboard. You can obviously change this to whatever you want. Uh, I just like G because it's next to the F. And so we're going to create a toggle. Uh, you can name the toggle whatever you want as long as all three of these match to be the same name. And that's basically just an on and off switch. So I push G, if toggle, meaning on, send, and that basically saying mimic what I uh, want you to do, F down. So when I hit G, it's going to hold the F key down. This is great for when you're like crafting or uh, mining. Um, you don't have to sit there holding the key the entire time. You just tap G. Once you're done, you're going to tap G again, and it's going to do else send F up, which is going to just release it. And then it returns just like a stop sign. It's basically, you know, once you hit here, don't continue running code that's below it. So it's kind of like just a stop sign. Um, so obviously we'll see that here in action once I launch the game. Uh, the next one right here, uh, we're using F1 for this. Like I said, change it to whatever you want. Uh, we're going to create a loop which just means basically anything inside these little curly brackets, do over and over again until I say otherwise. So with this one, we're going to do click down. We're going to sleep for uh, 10,000 milliseconds, which translates to 10 seconds. We're then going to click up, so release the left mouse button. Then we're going to sleep another 5 seconds or 5,000 milliseconds and continuously repeat this until I press F2 which will just reload the script, and this is just kind of an easy way to exit out of this loop without getting too fancy. I like to try to keep this as simple as possible. Um, so yeah, uh, basically, <clears throat> these are pretty much the simplest things I've got. Uh, like I said, watch the other videos because there's going to be a lot more stuff there for you um, that can I've already covered before. Yeah, let me know in the comments below what you want to see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this recording so I can launch the game because you guys don't want to sit there and watch the loading screen and waste a whole minute while it loads. Um, yeah, and we'll see these in action. If you have any questions, also let me know in the comments below and definitely subscribe. I'm always show throwing out one, two videos every single week, half to do automation. I have an entire playlist dedicated to gaming. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. So I'm logged into my world. 
It's going to just my play around world. And uh, let's just use the fire. That should be easy enough. Um, so with this one, we're going to go in, select what we want to do. We'll just do max for now. Start production. Now, as you see, it says hold F to complete the work. So what we're going to do is we're going to push G instead. And look at that. Here are my hands. And yeah, it's just doing it by itself. And uh, when, when I want to stop, I can just push G again. And as you see, it is done. And I'm back to this. Now let's try F1 out. So uh, let's go over to one of these um, mining thingies. We'll do wood. Um, so same thing, fold F. I'm just going to push G. Hands in the air, hands in the air. And yeah, I can walk away, go make a sandwich, go to the bathroom, take a nap, and it will do it for me. Once I'm ready to be done and continue playing, just push G again. We're back to normal. Now, let's use the F1. So we're going to go find a tree, I think would be best, easiest. Or a rock, whatever. Yeah, we'll do a rock since we just did a tree. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to push F1. And once again, my hands are up here. And so the reason those sleeps are in there is because of your um, energy bar or whatever. It's, you know, going down. Eventually, it's going to get to the point. There it goes. So it did it for 10 seconds. It's going to sleep for 5 seconds. And then it's going to continue. That way, your uh, energy can rebuild and you're not running out. Obviously, you can fine-tune those numbers to be more exact. Or as you, you know, get unlocks stuff and better your character, you would need to adjust it eventually if you want. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you could also use this one for like fighting and stuff. Now, one thing I do want to point out is with this, right now, if I push F2 and reload the script, we're fine. Um, but if I were to reload why it's in the middle of holding F2 or F1, so I'm going to push F2 right now, I'm still going. Even though the script reloaded, I just need to click the mouse button uh, to re-release it because if you reload it why it's in the middle of holding the left click down, it's not going to get to the point in the code where it's going to release it, so you just have to manually release it yourself if you're in the middle of holding that down. That's just something I want to point out because that can be a little funky if you don't know what's going on at first. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully you all like this one. Uh, I know it's a popular game. I've had to force myself to go to bed just because I keep playing it, and it's like, oh, let me do this, let me do that. Another thing, too, is you can use it for like this here, too, for harvesting, push G go but there's a lot of uses if you guys can think of something uh that i didn't show that you could use this for uh let us and also know in the comments below and hopefully uh we all get a bunch of good ideas all right everybody i will see you all hopefully on the next one bye